Hello everyone, this is Nick Raptor here, and since November has started, we will be doing the Die November Challenge. If you guys don't know what that is, it is a drawing challenge where we are given a list of dinosaurs to draw each day on November. Now, I've only done three dinosaurs since November started on Wednesday, and I post videos on every Friday. So therefore, I've only drawn up to three dinosaurs for this video. But we're doing it anyways, so here is the start of Die November. The first dinosaur to start Die November is the Sinoceraptorix. This dinosaur was found in China, and it was a small bipedal theropod that lived in the early Cretaceous period. The name translates to Chinese reptilian wing, and its diet consisted of insects, small lizards, or even early mammals. When fossils of Sinoceraptorix were found, the imprint showed evidence of feathers covering this dinosaur's body, and it was one of the very first non-avian dinosaurs discovered to have feathers. They can measure up to 1.07 meters long, or 3.5 feet long, and they can weigh up to only half a kilogram. They belong to the same family as Comsognathus, and was believed that they hunt in packs as well. They are known for having a long feathered tail with banded patterning. So for my drawing, I gave my Sinoceraptorix a long fluffy tail with white band patterning and an orange color as a base. And it came up pretty well. And so here is my first dinosaur for Die November, the Sinoceraptorix. The next dinosaur for Die November is the Dilophosaurus. Dilophosaurus is a genus of theropod dinosaurs that lived in what is now North America during the early Jurassic, about 186 million years ago. The name translates to two crested lizard due to its famous two large crest on the top of its head, and it was one of the earliest top predators in the early Jurassic. Now, when people think of Dilophosaurus, they always think of the one that appeared in the Jurassic Park movie where it was smaller, has a frill like the frill of the lizard, and spits venom. However, in real life, the Dilophosaurus was not like that. It was definitely taller measuring up to 7 meters long or 23 feet long and can stand up to be taller than a full grown man. It did not have frill or venom spitting like in the movie. That was made up for the movie, but that doesn't make this dinosaur any less dangerous. They still have razor sharp claws and teeth that can tear the flesh off your bones. And in recent discovery, it was found out that it also has feathers covering the top of their bodies. So, I drew my Dilophosaurus according to science accuracy instead of the movie, but I still love both versions of the Dilophosaurus. Each are cool in their own ways, and I love them both. But anyways, here is the finished Dilophosaurus. The next dinosaur is Hypsilophodon. It was a small ornithopod dinosaur that lived in what is now England and Romania during the early Cretaceous period, about 130 to 125 million years ago. The name translates to high crested tooth due to their specialized teeth in the front of their upper jaw. Those teeth are long and triangular, and many has debated what Hypsilophodon used those teeth for. They are herbivorous animals and eat many vegetation, so those teeth could be used for stripping off leaves or barks off the trees. They can measure up to 2.3 meters long or 7.5 feet long, and can weigh up to 20 kilograms. There has been debate whether or not Hypsilophodon has feathers, so I've made mine with a proto feathers covering the tops of their bodies. Is it accurate? No one can be sure. But this is just my idea of what Hypsilophodon could look like, so here it is.
And that is all for the start of Dino November. I know this video is short, but from next week onwards, there will be 7 dinosaurs in each upcoming videos, so look forward to it. Also, I have done Dino November before, all the previous dinosaurs I drew are on my Instagram account, so feel free to go there and see last year's Dino November. Please like, share, and subscribe to this channel. My name is Nickelraptor, thank you for watching, and have a Jurassic day.